So the first implication is, let's say, for the seller, whenever he's selling to a VAT registered customer buyer with who has the intention of further manufacturing or using it for production or for resale. So it becomes very important for him to uh, make it as out of scope of VAT, right? Wherein he is not supposed to charge VAT, right? So let me just go to vouchers. So while we are recording a sales transaction here, I click on sales. So I will select one of my uh, customer. Let's say it is Gulf Traders. He's a normal customer in UE. So I'm going to create a separate ledger here to handle these kind of scenarios. So that when in the future, while filing the return, if you want to, let's say, track all those transactions which are out of scope of VAT and specifically implying under the reverse charge mechanism, you will be able to easily find them in a single bucket. So here I'll be using the ledger, which is sales out of scope. I've created a ledger. So the configurations will be, you will map it under sales account as a group. And here specifically, you will set taxability as not wettable. So the moment you set this thing as not wettable, it starts behaving as out of scope of VAT. So wherein even if you select the product, the tally will not charge any VAT. For instance, let's say we're going to add uh, 55 products of it. Let's say each is 5,500. So even by a mistake, the user tries to add the VAT unknowingly so let's output VAT. tally doesn't allow you to charge the VAT. so one thing that has to be kept in mind is whenever you are making a sale to a buyer who has falling under this particular cabinet decision so just try to create a separate ledger as sales out of scope and then make sure to map it under not wattable in the taxability field so this part is taken care for the seller but when it comes to the buyer it is important for him to account the reverse charge mechanism. So let us dive into the purchase. I click on purchase here. Let's say the supplier invoice number was something like this, for instance. And here, let's say we are going to purchase from the VAT registered vendor who is Supertech Electronics Private Limited. And here, it is highly recommended that you create a separate separate ledger for this as well, like how we did for sales. So here, the configuration of the ledger would be something like this. So I have named it as purchase as you. You can name it uh, whichever is comfortable for you. So here, the main important two configuration that needs to be uh, taken care is first is the nature of transaction. So here, you should ensure to mention as domestic purchase designated zone. If you are not able to find this particular option, Simply click on F12, configure. So here on the right hand side, you will find few information, which also has this option as set nature of transaction for ledgers. By making this particular option, yes, you will start seeing this particular field here. So once you've selected domestic purchase designated zone, automatically the taxability is taken care. So I'll save the configuration. Now I'll, let's say I'll select iPhone 15 Pro Max. I'll say 100 pieces of it, which each costing 55, uh, 5,500. So here, as Mr. Samir was uh, highly mentioning that in case where there is additional service that has been included, right? Maybe a transportation expense or further packing, right? In this case, you do have the option in tally to account it separately. For instance, let's say this 5,50,000 will fall under RCM. But let's say we add a transportation expense, let's say, which is of 1000 dirhams. And when you add VAT here, VAT will be calculated only on the transportation expense and not on the item as the item value goes for reverse charge mechanism. The users can further cross check this by clicking on Alt A, that is the tax analysis, which will give you a depth information as to how the VAT is calculated. So you can clearly see. Transportation expense has fallen under the domestic taxable purchase while the electronic goods has fallen into amount of tax subject to reverse charge as per the cabinet decision 91. So you can simply save this particular transaction. Now, once you've recorded the purchase, it is important to account for your VAT as well. So you can go to the specific report that we have churned out for a reverse charge, display more reports, you can switch on to VAT reports here. So there's a separate category given here as reverse charge report. So once you enter on it, you can see all those transactions which you have bought from your VAT registered supplier 
of those products which fall under specifically this decision cabinet decision will be accounted right in this particular report at the bottom you are able to see the total tax liability that the users have to account it for so how do we account it and start putting it in the relevant boxes in the vat return simply make use of this particular option that is the stat adjustment and here you have to select the flag as increase of tax liability and input tax credit so that both your output vat and your input vat are taken care in one single entry and you don't have to record a double entry for that so i'll select this flag and i'll specify purchase from designated zone and i'll click keep this particular option is declared to customs no so and then here i'll simply select input vat the total taxable value was 5 lakh 50000 i'll specify that and the total vat value was 27500 and here i will create the output vat ledger so this transaction simply means that we are accounting the vat for those purchases from the supplier which have to be under reverse charge mechanism where we are creating an input vat of 27500 and we are knocking the same value with output vat ledger of 27500 and then i will save the transaction so here you will be further able to re-verify whether the liability has been booked properly so there should not be any value appearing in the balance liability while you are about to file your vat return so now once you come back to your vat report 201 so right here you will be able to find 27500 in both the buckets that is first is in your output vat and then it is also reflecting under your input vat the only 50 uh, dirhams of vat that is appearing is from the tax that was charged for the transportation expenses so this is of both the sellers as well as the buyers whoever whichever the transaction that fall under this particular cabinet decision effective from can easily record their transactions in the tally prime